Hi everyone, my name is Tony Willey and welcome to the next thing episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Z-Edit by Matador the Eternal for Mod Organizer 2. Now if you don't know what Z-Edit is, it's a basically a it's a tool that is exactly like SSE Edit, where it, you're allowed to look, it can help you look at records, um, make patches, and uh, you know make your help you go through the files to help you find conflicts within your mods. Now it's still in alpha stages, so it does have quite a bit. Of, it, it's and it still you'll run into issues using it. But if you're looking to test this out and just you know just try it, this, then this video is for you. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to basically download it. I like to download the portable version here. Click it and download as you normally would. Okay. Now once it's downloaded, you're going to go to your download folder. You're going to right click, you're going to find it, you're going to right click it here, and you're going to unzip it. Extract files, click OK. Now, the cool thing about Zedit is it, you do not need to actually install it into Mod Organizer 2. It's one of those programs you can have outside of Mod Organizer and then um, just add it, add it as an executable and it'll run just fine. Now, you're gonna, I'm going to open up my tools, I'm going to drop it in my, my, my mod tools where I usually put my, uh, my, my toolbars. But you want to take this folder and drop it in here. Now, you're going to open up Mod Organizer 2. You're going to go to your executables. You're going to go to Z Edit. Right? And we're going to find it here. And you're going to go through your desktop. You're going to go to your whatever you put it. Find the tools and Z Edit Alpha. Click the EXE and click Open. You're going to click Add. Z Edit is there and then click Close. Go down to your executable, click here. Now let's say you want to add it to your toolbar up here so you can just lo load it whenever you want so you don't have to keep going through the scroll button. Or you can add it to your desktop through the menu and then load it through the actual desktop. Let's get rid of these. We no longer need these here. Now as you can see Z-Edit is up here. Okay. I'm going to right click it, click Properties. Because I want to change the icon. I don't want it to look like the Mod Organizer 2. Click Browse. We're going to go to where, we, where I put the file. Which is on my desktop under my special edition tools. Go down to Z edit. Click on the EXE, click open. There's the icon, click OK, click apply. See it changed? And then click OK. Now I want to load it. Okay, so you can load it from your desktop if you want. To your mod organizer too. Click Skyrim SSE. Now, if you want to clean, do not use this. Using this clean feature right now is um, in alpha still, so I recommend not using the clean feature. This is if you want to clean your plugin. Still use SSE Edit for that. But if you want to check out other things with SSE Edit, like your records and stuff, you can definitely use the Z Edit itself. Click Start, and you will get a warning prompting you about that as well. Click OK. And as you can see, it loaded the plugin extremely fast. Now. When using Z-Edit, you can check out the records as you normally would, right? So here's all the records you can check out. It even allows you to check out certain scripts there, um, indicators and activations. You can drag and drop these over here. Check out your files. Now, let's say I want to check out an, an, an the other file. You're going to click this. You're going to click out uh, View Tree Records. You can check out the uh, files from here. record and I'm just going to drag it off this over here and there you go so did you see what I did I clicked here so I want to check out the, the record itself I open this up I click view records drag the this record over here and just drag and drop it and now I can see every little thing that's in this record every little thing from textures to where they're added let's say I just want to click click I can make a minus or I can make them bigger you can even check out the scripts that have been added in here which is really cool so and you can just scroll up little by little. It tells you the patches here. Really cool stuff, guys. Really cool stuff. The Matador added. It shows you everything you need. You want to see record-wise on the on here. Now, if you guys want to, you know, have more settings, you can check out Manage Patchers uh, on here. And you know, you can add plug-in and etc. etc. 
manage extensions click here it'll tell you what kind of themes you can add here you can make it lighter or darker you can click apply and you can uninstall it as well by matador he's added those in there for you install module you know sky proker and all that stuff edit settings you can go through here you know time of day it gives you the code references you can do you can do default you can ch choose whatever one you want here yeti whatever programs you, you usually choose to um, write in day or night setting you can choose use your records how you want to view those trees and then on you know this here manager patchers if you really want to learn more about the edit you click the little question mark called get help and through all these records there's tons and tons of stuff you can just click on here and that'll show you and it tells you exactly what to do how to do it it has um, plugins and stuff you could check on that'll help you tell you where to go what to do etc etc a lot of good stuff here guys so uh, if you guys are interested in the edit please definitely check it out I'm gonna get out of here now let's get out of here close this and no problems there and as you can see it's been installed in Monarch Exit 2 work and it works just fine Alright everyone, so uh, what do you guys think of Z-Edit? Let me know in the comment section down below. So if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my uh, tutor my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tony Wale. Thank you for the click, and I will see you next time.